Hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Paint TV. Uh, you there? Hello. Okay, we're on, uh, or have been on, here uh, at the program Let's Paint TV. Good to see you all here. Another exciting edition of the show. I'm going to get a cup of coffee and some water. I'll be right back. Right, we're back. Good to see you all here on the program. Uh, let's let's paint TV. Let's paint and consumerate. Cons uh, there, there's a word for it. Let's uh, let's just do it. Let's do do another show uh, if we can. Maybe not. Maybe maybe there is no show. <laughs> it is kind of it's hard to do a show when it seems like there's no one really telling you to do a damn thing. It's hard to do anything other than uh, just hang out. Which I guess we I guess we could we could just hang out if you'd like. We could just hang out. I I don't have any problems with doing that. Uh, you can you can hang out here with us uh, today How about that all right well uh, there's a number 818-528-4516 call in and ask questions about painting uh, or may maybe you have a question about uh, cooking how about exercise all that could be to to your advantage to uh, to find out if, if uh, you know at least bounce it off me bounce off whatever's on your mind here on the program 818-528-4516 that's the number here on the program all right now we were working on a painting here yesterday and uh, have been uh, kind of constantly working on this uh, one particular painting I, I might mix it up here today and start another painting here, which uh, would be kind of fun. Fun to do. Or, or I may, may just end up not doing anything and just talk to you guys. Uh, a lot easier that way. Okay, that camera is acting up again. Okay, I got to fix that camera shut. Which, which, which camera shot is that? Oh, this one. Oh, okay. All right, it is this one. Okay, let's let's fix it. Every day. Every day. Every day. Okay, not not the end of the world, Dad. Okay. That should solve that problem. Here on the program. Feel free to. Call us here on the program, 818-528-4516, 818-528-4516. Working on some coffee. Working on our the next, uh, the next thing that we might want to do, just somehow, or, or continue, continue what we might want to do. A lot of lot of possibilities never really certain what or where we go which is fine with me just as well just as well that that's the case uh, only because 
uh, really doesn't matter when it gets down to it. Doesn't doesn't really matter what uh, is in store for you here on the program. But of course, uh, what makes the show interesting, I guess, is uh, content uh, that we are not providing at the moment. But we shall maybe put some through the uh, the strainer and see if it uh, captivates your attention, uh, gets you uh, somehow intrigued to uh, to stick around, see what see what goes down here. Uh, or, or not, and, or just at the very least, you get to see me kind of flounder, and uh, I'm I'm good at floundering. I can ha I can flounder all day. I'm actually kind of good uh, at the backstroke and the flounder, flounder, which is another swim move, uh, or it could be. Is there a, is there a, a is there a move for that? The flounder. All right, well, we're working on the coffee, which is fantastic. It's fantastic coffee. Um, probably drink too much of it. But I like it. Uh, it's in lieu, I think it's it's in lieu of drinking maybe beer. Well, I don't know. I, you can't drink, if you drink too much of either one, but for some reason I think you can. Uh, one could drink probably 100 beers if they... On a hot day such as this, maybe, maybe not. Now I, I, don't, I don't know. Is it possible? How, how many beers can you possibly drink? Uh, someone who is like a, you know, sort of an alcoholic type. Uh, what what would be like a lot of beers? Like, I don't. I I mean, I said a hundred, but I don't think that's even possible. Can you can you really drink a hundred beers, without like maybe getting alcohol poisoning or something like that? I'm not really sure if uh, that's possible. Enough. I've heard people. I mean, obviously, I've heard people drinking about it. You know, like a 12 pack. That's. I might have even done that. Um, but <laughs> of course, I'm admitting to that. Uh, I, I suspect you could drink a lot more. One could. Uh, whereas coffee, how many cups of coffee could you drink? Uh, in a day like 10 20 how many how many can you even feasibly function what is the uh, I know most people kind of drink maybe one to two maybe three I, I'm kind of a uh, that's about where I'm at with the coffee I guess maybe three cups of coffee um, okay so uh, a lot of things on the table here today that uh, we can uh, talk about, obviously. Uh, still trying to get movement in my arm. My arm is still uh, giving me issues. Uh, and uh, we'll just kind of go from there. All right. Uh, so we have that painting that is not here, but it needs to be here. So let's get the painting. Well, I'm going to drink my coffee. Let me, let me just drink my coffee. Take your calls, 818-528-4516. Uh, You're watching Let's Paint TV. The uh, sort of the unabridged version, if you will. Sort of the un, unfun, the, the unfun ver version. But we're okay. Uh, what is a YOLO like? Uh, come again? Come again? I'm not sure what that means. YOLO. Uh, Yo Yolo, uh, Yolo County, is that what you're asking? Uh, which I don't know if I've ever been to. It's up there uh, in the northern uh, regions of the state of California. Yo 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 Yolo 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 County. Uh, and uh, the uh, I think it's next to Butte County, if I'm incorrect or wrong or correct uh, or one or the other. I may I might be wrong or, or correct. I'm I'm one or the other. I don't know if it borders uh, or not, but it could. I'm not I'm not really sure. 
Uh, so there's there's our first uh, question of the day. A little slow, slow on the draw here. We're all um, still not happy about the the kind of the quickness, the immediacy of, of our new platform here on uh, YouTube Live. But uh, I guess we're getting used to it to some degree. We were kind of spoiled with the immediate uh, response time. Uh, we're not really kind of getting that. Of course, we're not really getting anyone to watch the program anyway, so. Which is kind of nice. I, I like that. I mean, I don't. I mean, honestly, I, I mean, I'd rather have a million people watch. I, I mean, hey, let's take this call. Let's take this call. All right. Hello, caller. You're on Let's Paint TV. Hi. Hello. Okay, there's a delay, so don't sweat it. Just, just talk to me. Hello? All right. Uh, well, don't be too shy. Try again. Uh, maybe there's a, some sound problems with your call or something. Okay. 818-528-4516. Uh, 818-528-4516. Uh, That's the number you can call us uh, uh, during, the, during the time we do this show. It's 11 to 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. Uh, and uh, I will pick up. Uh, for the most part, I guess. All right. Uh, so, okay. Let's let's see if we can get this call here. Uh, hello, caller. You're on Let's Paint TV. Hi. Hello. Okay. Um, apparently, there is an issue with the the caller uh, having issues with, with calling in. Now, if you, if you uh, want, you can just call the number 818-528-4516 uh, on a landline, and there shouldn't be a problem. But if you're using Skype, and, uh, you, you know, sometimes sometimes with Skype, you got to restart the program altogether uh, because it's like the Internet, and uh, it's uh, like some sort of technology issue that uh, almost uh, without fail, uh, you, if, if you're having issues, one way to resolve or at least try uh, is to just restart the program, whatever it is. Turn it off and start, you know, sometimes it gets, it gets confused, uh, such as myself uh, right now with you. Uh, not really. Uh, I get, okay, let's try this one more time. Let's see if you can call me and talk to me. All right, are you there? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I do. Hey, what's, going, what's going on, man? I'm um, doing great, doing great. Where where are you calling from? Uh, Sydney. Sydney, Australia. Yes. Well, uh, wow, that's uh, that's a long ways off. Uh, what what what's going on, man, over there? Uh, much, much. Um, so, like, okay, my question is, okay, like, if you have a great idea and you can pull it off, like to a certain extent, then you have to do like. Maybe people like, like technicians, like sound guys, you're in a public space, or somebody that's like presenting you with like occupational health and safety issues. Like, how do you think your agenda? Yeah, I can barely uh, make uh, make uh, sense of what you're saying. Why? Right, right, come again. Say oh, okay. that again. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hold on. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you now. I hear you a lot better. Okay. Now. I just might yell. I'm just gonna yell a bit. There you go. That's right. better. Okay. All right. So my question is like, if you're like doing something in public, and you have to deal with like people that are like gonna be like occupational health and safety kind of vibes. Yeah. Or like people be like just like naysayers or be like no no we can't put a thing in a certain place and you have a vision yeah about doing like you, you're part of a public project yeah like how do you deal with those guys Th those guys are just assholes you, you really you you, uh, you 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 try to you try to uh, you either go what you either go my way or the highway kind of thing and I won't do it you know if you're that, if you're like a Robert Irwin or somebody important in you know or or a, President uh, Obama or uh, Putin, you know, you're, you're, uh, you get to do whatever you want to do, right? But until you're in those positions of power and you are a nobody 
then those people who are working at occupational safety land, uh, they're the ones in power, and they're the ones that can make your day uh, a, a, a big pile of dog shit. They're the ones that can fuck you over. So you got to kiss their fucking ass somehow. Uh, maybe maybe pull out a big wad of money, maybe. Maybe you got to bribe them. I don't know. But you got to dance around them. They are in power. So how do you like so like how do you, how do you paint how do you paint around power? Yeah, uh, you know, I, I think I think uh, I I'm always kind of willing to uh, to just kind of uh, let the big shit pile stay right where it's at and 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 I don't even want to enter in that shit pile field. That 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 yeah. asshole land. I just But you're on the internet. Me. You're on the internet. Yeah, I'm on the internet. Yeah, I mean that's like you know like you know, you you're in their archives, man. Yeah, that's right. I am. That, yeah, I mean, they they kind of like watching you, or they're watching me. Surely they like maybe they'll knock on the door one day and like assess like the public safety of your own house situation. Uh, you know, it's entirely possible. I mean, you know, all that whole uh, the whole security land, the world. Uh, uh, you we heard kind of, about Prism, I, right? Hey, you know, like the NSA and Prism. Uh, yeah, I, I'm well aware of it, and I'm also more so. Uh, I'm thinking uh, when you have governments and uh, like uh, I've seen, you know, you see movies and and you have like families hanging out one day, and the next day the the fa one part of the family is being uh, put on a, on a truck and led away, you know, by by some, you know. Uh, government agency, uh, yeah, that's scary. And uh, we—I don't know how you, how you fight. I, you'd think that we were over that, you know. You'd think that, you know, but that's happening all the time. And uh, yeah, it could happen any moment. Is it? Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, man. I just felt like I just went into paranoid brainwave, and I don't mean to be paranoid brainwave. All I was thinking about was legitimate. Like, if you wanted to put on a festival, if you wanted to do something real. You want to be like, hey, I want to like paint in a public space. Yeah. And if someone comes up to you and says like, oh, hey, you can't paint here because this is an occupational health and safety like problem. Uh, well, f you what, know, what do you do? Like, yeah, well, you know, look, if they, if they, sometimes I've never had anyone say that, but uh, I don't know to what extent you're, you know, been trying to, uh, cr you know, what you're trying to create or do. However. Uh, you know, I've had police come to me and say, look, you can't paint here. Um, and then I say, well, wait a second, this is public property, you know, so I'm okay, get the fuck off my face. Now, I didn't say that, but, you know, I just said, look, this is public property, I'm okay, you know, I was polite. Um, yeah. But uh, there are times when they say, no, wait a second, you're on private property. And so if... if once they say that, once they say you're on private property, then 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 uh, then you, I pretty much pack up and get the fuck out of there because that's then then uh, that they technically then you're trespassing or whatever. I don't know. What... But you could be like you could be trespassing anywhere, really. I suppose, but also the other thing too, doing something in public, and I, I guess the occupational hazard issue, um, and 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 I. I do a certain amount of painting outdoors, so I'm aware of, uh, and particularly in bus on busy streets. And so you can't, I, I'm, I don't, I mean, I think it's just being polite is, is really the deal. But also uh, be aware of where, where you're setting up so that if you are, you know, obviously if you're blocking the, the, the walkway or if you're blocking the street, you know, for uh, blocking commerce and, and, and people, you know, doing their dailies, you know, doing, you know, you can't, you're not going to be allowed to do that. It's just common sense, I think. Uh, you know, um, in Sydney, they, uh, they have a, they have a festival called, uh, the, well, they have a Mardi Gras in Sydney, the gay and lesbian Mardi Gras. Yes, Ma and, um, Mardi, Gr Mardi Gras. Yeah, Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras in Sydney. Um, but it's like, uh, it's, you know, it's a gay and lesbian Mardi Gras. It's not like, it's not like Mardi Gras and like Latin America. It's like, you know, big, big, like. Okay, so yeah. Festival of everything, life, sex, beauty, whatever. Um, like this is kind of like that, but it was based almost from protests or whatever. Uh, I don't know. It's a couple. Of 
Eric, they like painted a giant rainbow at a crossing in, in the city. Yeah. And then, um, and then, um, they had like, so it cost them like, like tens of thousands of dollars to like paint a rainbow. Um, and then because so many people were taking selfies, like self, you know what a selfie is? Yeah. yeah. No. What, what's a selfie? I, I've heard of it, but what is it? Uh, it's like when people like use their iPhones or their, like their cameras to like take pictures of themselves wherever they are. Okay. Okay. A selfie. Sure. Sure. Yeah. 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 But they were all doing it in the middle of the road because the road was the color of the rainbow. And then, and it was like the busiest road in Sydney. And then like basically they had to like spend tens of thousands of dollars against like get off the road and get rid of the rainbow. Okay. So, and you're, you're, uh, so like, so you're that, thinking... in, in my mind, that is like a really good example of like when occupational health and safety interrupts like aesthetic flow or somebody's creative idea. Yeah, well, you know, look, it's it's a lot of it's case by case. You know that. I mean, look, you, yeah, you know, it, yeah. it is. So, so you know, uh, enter at your own um, discretion of sorts. You know, do whatever you're doing, but just uh, be aware of of the uh, potential ramifications that are are out there. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, like, my second question. Yes. Uh, uh, we try to keep it to one question a day, or, or but uh, oh, we'll take. Okay, we'll, cool. No, we'll, uh, no. I, can, I can bail on this, man. No, no. Just... Go ahead, go ahead. There's no one else calling, so I think we're all okay. Oh, okay, cool. All right. My second question is like, would it be better to be an artist existing URL as opposed to IRL? Yeah, I don't even. I you know I don't know what an IRL is, so. Oh, okay, like um, like, would it be better to be an artist? that puts their work explicitly on the internet now as opposed to actually trying to exhibit in gallery. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yes and no, whatever. I mean, look, uh, if what you know, whatever works, whatever works. I think ultimately whatever you're going to do is always going to, would find, if you were to just be strictly on the internet, it would ultimately find a place somewhere in, in some uh, particular, let's say, art show for, you know, weird or, or interesting stuff they found off the internet, blah, blah, blah. So, like, like, how, how, like, cause like, how do you consider yourself then? Like, uh, I consider myself uh, basically trying to do both and just doing it all. I, I think of myself as an octopus uh, with, uh, like, a lot, of, oh. a lot of different arms sticking out everywhere. Trying to trying to get some money somehow. Okay. Yeah, I don't. You know, look, I'm not. I'm not. I haven't figured out anything. I'm still. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to work it. Work my 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 life uh, uh, with uh, in the in the in the, uh, in the eyes of everyone else. You know, I'm just kind of just uh, opening up my uh, my my uh, sanctity, my my emotional uh, uh, soul to to you all. And uh, where it goes, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think it goes into rad dude territory. I think you're just like a rad dude. Well, uh, I appreciate oh. that. Uh, you know, that's kind of neat to hear. Uh, but uh, I, I don't, I don't believe one word of that. I think it's. Right. You, you think? Okay. Oh, I mean, anyway, like, okay, we're in public now. I could give you more later. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Um, whatever. Yeah. Um, you got any more callers? Like. No. No, I don't. I don't. Should I ask another question? Yeah, go ahead. This is okay. Tim, by the way, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Well, it actually is. Yeah, I thought it was. How'd you get that, man? <laughs> I was uh, trying to troll you, man. Yeah, That's yeah. Fun. Yeah, I figured it out after a while there. <laughs> You're just like, <laughs> fuck this guy. What a dickhead. What's going on? He's <laughs> like fucking with my show. That's uh, all right. Look, this show's this show's perfect for for uh for having you know being fucked over. Uh, we're we're just one you know the beauty the beauty Tim of a show like this uh, is that there is no one there's no one behind me and uh, we're we're just really just sort of hacking away at whatever. We're well, I'm pretty sure there's no one watching. And no, <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on now. <laughs> yeah, 
There isn't anyone watching. That's what it's feeling like. <laughs> <laughs> there basically is not anyone watching. Let me just see. I think there's like five people watching. Man, do you know what the time is here for me to be well, tweeting? You know, no, we got six people watching, man. Oh, yeah, man. Do you know what the time is here? I'll tell you what the time is. It's 4.27 a.m., man. I got to fucking, you know, like, I got I to gotta be insane to be doing this shit right now. But, um, so you haven't gone to sleep yet? You just, you're still up? No, yeah, because I've been playing heaps of shows. Like, like making lots of music and stuff. I don't know, I could link you if you want. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know how that works. Link? Yeah, I don't know how this, I don't know, like, I don't even know how that would like, work on your thing. And I'm pretty sure my housemates are just getting really annoyed at me because I can hear you and um, they, I'm wearing headphones. So, like, they're just hearing me talking to a computer quite loudly in a bedroom at 4.27 a.m. <laughs> anyway, yeah. John, man, you good? Uh, I'm I'm waking up, dude. I'm I'm just you know had my coffee. I'm I'm getting going here. Just, but you good? You good? Uh, you know I got I always have uh, there's always some kind of nagging thing. I got new arm injury kind of pain, you know like. Man, I've been getting this weird fucked up lower back shit going. Yeah, fuck that shit. I'm telling you, that's real fuck fucked that. up. I don't know where the fuck, fuck that's that. coming from. God damn like, it. I don't know. Like I go for run. Like I go I go running. Like, I, like, lift weights, I do shit. Like, I try to be active as possible. Do you stretch? Do you stretch? I, I should stretch That's more. That's it, my friend. You got to stretch. I, I do, yeah. too. Well, I, how do you stretch, stretch your lower back, man? Uh, there is a movement you can do. Uh, and, it's, and, 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 you know, obviously a bowel movement would be good, too. If you haven't been doing that for a while, that might cause an issue, too. But uh, oh, no, I should. I, I, do, I do poo. I do poo. Good, good, good. Uh, what you need to do is uh, you got to lay down on on the on the on the ground, and, and I'll, I'll show it to you. Let me just show it to you. Let me see if I can do this. Right. I don't. Can I can see this? Is going to be delayed. I don't know. It's, it's delayed, but I'm on. I'm on, dude. I mean, I'm going to show right, it man. to you. Let me. Let me. This is the best thing to do for your back, your lower back. All right. Okay. I'm gonna like. There we go. I got to delay here. I'm gonna like. Okay. Oh. Okay. You see me? No, no, I can't say All right. shit. Okay, but you All will. Right. You will. Okay, so for your lower back, everybody. I can see this. All right. Okay, so uh, I'm kind of in, in cramped quarters here, but you basically go like this. With one leg. And uh, breathe, uh, yeah. breathe through your nose, maybe. And count to ten. Uh, to ten. Breathe, you know, do ten breaths at least. Ten breaths. All right, we got your feet. All right, ten, right? Nine. Yeah. Ten. Fuck, your studio looks awesome, man. You might make so many good paintings in there. Yeah, I've been painting, all right. Okay, so then you go to the other leg, all right? And you do the same, ten. All right, all right. I got you back. Uh, okay, so you did about ten. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I see that shit. Okay, yeah. Okay, and cool. then and then you do this. The delay is so lazy. And then you do this. This is like double. So you hold that. Like ten. Okay, so. That's about it. You just keep doing that, and it will. Uh, so you just like hold up your knees against you. Yeah. Against your chest. Yeah. Stick your neck. You stick your head. Stick your head in all the way. You know, like you're you're trying to like you know, do some self uh, self love stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stick your so your your whole neck and stuff is coiled up and. Um, all that stuff. It's good. This is good, John. This is actually really. You never good. done that? That's like classic move. Oh, That's no, the best. I'll show you. Like, uh, well, I can't actually give you a video, but like, I um, you know, like I um, you know, I just try to touch my toes or like grab. Um, no, but that's grab. the best. That's the best for the lower back. That is the best. Yeah. Okay. That's good. 
Like, I'm just trying to touch my... That's good, too. Like, uh, grab, hug, hug, and... You do this often? Uh, I need to do it, like, every day, but I don't. But if I find... I find that, uh... You need, you need, okay. You, do you need to find an excuse to do this every day? Um, if, if someone was to ask you to do this every day, would you do it every day? Uh, well, I mean, I guess if I got paid to do it every day, I would do it every day. I'm just a, I'm just a prostitute, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, yeah. whatever, you know, whatever uh, anyone wants to pay me, I'll pretty much do, you know. Okay, John. Okay, John. Um, I don't have any money, but maybe you should just, you know, stretch your calves for a bit. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I agree, I agree. I, I, I need to do that. I, I, I know because I, I, uh, I hurt myself when I don't stretch ultimately. And, uh, but then, and, and then what you happens look good, is that man. you look good. Hey, like, yeah, sorry. It's like, you gotta yeah, do anything. Well, uh, I, what can I say? I mean, you know, I, I try, I try to, uh, Stay, stay afloat, if you will. <laughs> but yeah. uh, you know, but I, I have found though that if I do some uh, uh, extracurricular kind of activities, like um, you know, exercise, if you will, uh, I I find that I end up hurting myself because I I, I jump in and I give it my all, and uh, and then I pay. It's for not, it. it's not a chill. It's not a chill. It's not a chill. Relaxed. Oh. Well, it's a common problem for a lot of us is that we decide to do some exercise all of a sudden, uh, and then we don't we don't carefully enter into the zone. The exercise we call that zone. O oversize. Yeah, we like supersize our exercise. You know, oh, that's well, that's your next lecture. Okay, can you please tell me about supersizing my level of exercise? Because I, I actually like fucking I feel that temperament. Every time, like people, like I, you know, someday I wake up and I'm like, oh, I feel a little bit unhealthy. Yeah. And so I, 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 I like, I might like exhaust myself. You know, like. Right. Exactly. That, that's what we call supersizing your exercise. That's called you're guilty about not being healthy, so you 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 try to jumpstart it, and you and you give yourself a thousand volts of of exercise. You go, you you supercharge it. You go crazy because you want to get healthy again you want to get strong and 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 get that body back to tip-top shape and you do just that you go crazy you do all these push-ups and you run five miles and you do the stairmaster and whatever sit-ups and then you don't stretch you don't you don't enter you know for one you don't stretch yeah, and, no, there's no stretching, and, really. And then fine. that's where, you know, think of your body as one big rubber band that you, you, you didn't yeah. stretch or, or, you know, or somehow, uh, you know, somehow it is like a rubber band, you know. Uh, and so if you put all this force on it, uh, I don't know the analogy. The analogy ain't really working there, but uh, some, well, somehow like it is. Well, like if you had a, I guess if, well, actually, no, I don't know what the analogy is. Yeah, I don't know either, but. But but there is sort of, there is the way that the muscles the muscles are like a rubber band the, uh, the and and they need to stretch but uh, oh I know because they would snap so what happens is if you don't stretch and if you do go too crazy now with the exercise all of a sudden without doing any exercise so your body ain't even aware of it then boom. You snap those muscles, and that ain't a good thing, my friends. I think that's what I did. I think I snapped something. But you, but you, you do exercise, and you do stretch quite a lot. I don't do it. I, I say I do and it. You do, and you do pain. I say I do that, but then I, in reality, I really don't. You know, it's just, a, it's, it's, uh, it's, you know, oh. we, we like to think that other people are, 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 uh, are doing all this wonderful stuff, but in reality... Uh, I'm just being frank with you. Uh, I I don't. I. It's so all... you mean that those, that green screen isn't actually really green screen? Yeah, it's it's a green screen. Yeah. It's not a real green screen. Is that a green screen of a green screen? No, it's it's a. Uh, 
It's a green screen. Are you serious? Like, is it a green screen of a green screen? Yeah, it's yeah, it's a green screen, man. It's a green screen. Get over it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not happy with. The, I'm not really using it right now, but I, I, I got, I, I put it up for you right now. The green screen. It's not. No, really it's good. Um, I, I think at some point. Um, oh man, I didn't even get to tell you like the shit that I was doing last year. Um, uh. You know, I got I got to hang out with the people that did Foley. Foley for um. Uh, do you know what Foley is? Uh. Yeah, yeah. Where you make little sounds for for music or for videos? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like uh, steps and you, you know, someone sits on a chair. You make the sound of somebody sitting in the chair by basically recording the sound of yourself right. sitting in the chair. Anyway, these guys in um. These guys in Sydney and uh, part of the crew in New Zealand as well handled all of the sound effects uh, for Lord of the Ring. Yeah. And they were showing me all of the stuff that they were doing. This guy was just like, he was insane. He was just like, he was all about his stretching. Yeah, Definitely yeah, yeah. Definitely all about his stretching. Hey, it's, it's, he it's, to, it's, it's he really... walk on the spot. It's totally, like, yeah, you know, it's an important thing, you know. It really is. Yeah. Okay, I got the blue screen coming up. I put it back up for you. It looks a lot better than uh, I had. I hadn't been using it, but I got it now. Now it's really fuck, fucking nut, nutty. You don't see it uh, yet because you're on delay, or you're seeing glimpses. I'm so, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm so delayed no, you, here. You're not getting the real deal right now. I, I'm, I'm uh, fucking. I got, I got, I got, I got um. I, I got you know, Godzilla I'm, coming down here on you, baby. Oh shit! There you go. You seriously have no other calls, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> We don't got much going on here at Let's Fake TV today. <laughs> you have no other call. <laughs> Just be like, fuck you, Tim. Fuck you. I was really happy when I left Australia. <laughs> and, and that, yeah. Oh, man, it's looking good. It's looking good. Yeah, it's the blue screen, man. It's the blue screen. Yeah, I, I don't really use it that much because I'm not really happy about... What are, you, like, what are you mixing through? Is it like a V4, a V8, or... It's called, it's alive. you know what it is? I'll tell you what's kind of cool. I, I, you can't see it yet, but I got a little remote control gizmo. Yeah. Uh, that uh, with a little box that goes to a box and I'm able to take my three and I can actually get four like consumer grade, you know, cameras that I have. You know, they're not high tech yeah, yeah, cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just say real RCA, bad. RCA, RCA, yeah. RCA, I can go RCA Closet, in that. Yeah. And then that ultimately goes into the computer. Yeah. So I'm yeah. able to switch the camera shots like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, and I don't have a fourth shot yet. And then... I um, can't even... I, yeah, I mean, like, I, I know what you're talking about, but like, um, when you're doing those switches, like, they're going to come to me maybe five minutes later. I know. And then and I'll be like, whoa, yeah, that was amazing. I know, and then we're going to talk about something else, I know. And then the other program, it's a, it's a software that's on the computer called Wirecast... Wirecast, and that's how I'm able to, uh, and then I'm hooked there. That's where I can do the blue screen. That's how I'm able to do the blue screen. And then on top, and then see, I'm able to add another camera uh, right. in Wirecast. I add another okay, camera, so and then also the I can we've add. The, we've got uh, Let's Paint Tech, and I, I'm, I'm, yeah, man, that shit's sick. So like, the, you've got it down. Well, I, I, I just started, I just got the remote just the other day. And uh, so I'm happy about that. And uh, but the only thing I don't like about this is that I feel like I can't really do my show very well because I'm always changing the buttons, you know. John, that's the craziest fucking thing I've ever heard you say. <laughs> you can't do your show very well because I'm changing the buttons. <laughs> hey, hey, man, that's how I feel. Hey, that's how I feel. That, 
That's how I, I feel, can't man. do my show very well because I'm changing the button. I'm sorry, like, I've got to blend a drink, I've got to run on a thing, I've got to do this other shit. That's, I've got to tell you how to live too your many life. Things, dude, your it's, I've got to give you everything. It's wait, one, wait, no, one, sorry, sorry, I can't one, do my show. Because I just don't know how to change the button. Well, it's just one too many buttons, you know? It's just one too <laughs> oh, many. Man. Oh, you fucked it. Your show's over. Dude, did you hear that? I busted it. The tape. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Still in the show. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I think I did hear it. Yeah, I did hear it. Hey, I was I I asked the question earlier. Maybe you could answer it. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, okay. I was saying yeah, that actually, that's know, good. Like, we get feedback questions. Maybe I can, maybe I can get past the questions you can't actually answer. Okay. Hey, uh, so uh, uh, I was yeah. I was projecting like how many beers someone could actually drink in a day, and I I threw out a hundred, and I thought, wait, wait a second, that would be too many. What would be uh, like? You know, would a twelve pack of beer would probably be possible, or I I think I've done that maybe a handful of times, but could well, it? Well, no, in Australia we have we have what are called cases. Yeah, yeah, we got cases here, so twenty four beers. Yeah. Can could you or do you know people that would you know like routinely yeah, drink I, I, a case of I, beer? I've drunk a case of beer. You done a case of beer like all in, in twenty four hours time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I believe it from you. I believe I know in you. I, I I'm so I'm a. Uh, I'm a fucking Australian mate. Yeah. I I believe that that's uh, I believe that. So, but would you go more than twenty four ever? Um, only if I want to be hospitalized. So so you do know your limits. No, not really. How many cups of coffee would you drink in a day? Now you you don't probably drink many cups of coffee anyway. Uh, I'd probably about three or four. That's about it, right? You don't go yeah. crazy with the coffee. You don't just keep drinking coffee all day. No, uh, coffee coffee makes me insane. Uh, sure, I understand. Whereas alcohol and excessive amounts of alcohol speaks to my convict heritage. That's right, because you're a you're you're just a convict. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, that's what Australia means. Hey, did you ever find out like what your your ancestors actually did to get over over to uh, Australia? Did you ever figure that? Oh out? yeah, yeah. Actually, um, uh, one of them was a convict, and the uh, the other was a free settler. Okay, so what does that mean, free settler? What is that? Uh, they chose to come here. Oh, okay. But, but from England, they were both English. All right. One was Irish, the other was English. Um, but then there's also, you know, there's there's also cross blood lines as well that uh, extend into into people that have also, you know, uh, you know. Like, I mean, Australia Australia is very messy, and it, and it tries to refuse its own history uh, quite often. Yeah, there's well, a lot of, you know, the, the what the thing I do find like interesting. The, indig the, the indigenous, like the Aboriginals here, basically have their backs against the wall. They've lost. They've lost their identity. Same, like I'm pretty sure the same way that like Native Americans have as well, and um, you know white people just fucking taking over shit, doing whatever it is they do, using up electricity, burning fossil fuel. Sounds good. Um, I, I got lost there, but uh, but whatever. Yeah. Okay. So fantastic. <laughs> um, Australia. I getting, yeah. I was just getting a bit whack and psychedelic. I don't know. What the, what okay. Know what hey, no problem. Yeah, Australia. It's a it's a great land, guys. Uh, go down there one day and meet uh, Tim. Yeah, I'm a good guy. You, in fact, you hang out at the airport to welcome people to Australia, don't you? All the time. Like yeah. as long as I get their name and you know. But no, I actually don't do that. You, but you you in particular meet like cool artist types at the airport. I I know yeah. a lot of cool artists. That's your, that's your, that's what you, you know, you get, you actually got a, a grant from the, 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 the cultural board of Australia to do just that, to like, you know, uh, chaperone cool artists from the world uh, as they come into Australia, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, all, all the time. That's exactly what I do with my life. And <laughs> say, so, yeah, come to Australia, Tim will show you a <laughs> Tim. Yeah, I'm a, uh, yeah, come on, yeah, shit, 
Canada, come to Australia. I will beat you at the airport, and I will have a grant ready for your creative souls. Um, yeah, I was gonna paint today, but I ended up talking to Tim from Australia. So, oh shit! So, so if anyone was disappointed by the fact that I didn't do any painting, then uh, I'm sorry. And uh, we'll just have. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so. <laughs> John, I fuck. That's so fucked. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, what's fucked up about it? I don't. What's a, nothing fucked up about it? No, no, it's it. good, man. Like you just like you were gonna paint. It was like oh, I was gonna paint today, but I ended up talking to Tim from Australia. Well, I'm always looking for an excuse not to paint. So believe me, it's yeah. But I was yeah, man. Fuck, I was like, I was supposed to sleep today, but I ended up talking to John. America. Um, yeah. Uh, what's that song by uh, Coming to America? They're coming <laughs> to America. Hey, John. Yeah. I'm an American citizen. I know you are. I know you are. Hi. You're, you're like half Australian, half American. Yeah. How, yeah, how yeah. many of you are, are like that? How many, like, you know, half? Very, 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 very few. Well, uh, this is an honor to have uh, someone that is sort of, you know, half half in and half out. Um, yeah, well, like I'm not I'm not allowed here and I'm not allowed there, basically. Well, you're sure as hell not allowed here. Yeah, well, that's that's better URL than IRL. Well, just live your life on the internet, my friend. Wow, man, I. I love you, John. Well, uh, likewise. Yeah. I just got a haircut today, but or last night I I gave myself a haircut. So. Oh fuck yeah! Sorry, that was my other question. Yeah, yeah, no, but I, I just realized my other question. Well, okay, we got so we like, got a winter, we got summer. You got winter right now, so it's a hundred degrees here in Los yeah, Angeles yeah. today. So yeah, yeah, but my, my, but okay, like so, like my most legitimate, like question. Yeah, like what? Like ever, right now. Yes. Is when you started losing your hair, or when you felt you started. Losing your hair, yeah. How did you go about like assessing or like existing in that situation or were you, were you with a girl? Were you like, were you with a girl? Because I know dudes that think they're losing their hair and they're like freaking out. They feel like they're never going to get a girl. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was never an issue for me. Um, but I do remember seeing a fellow uh, uh, peers, peers, if you will, my age, you know, maybe going to, to art school at the same time, starting to wear bandanas over their head. Whoa. Yeah, they would, so they were always wearing a bandana over their head, and, uh, that was kind of strange. Like Neil Diamond, it was Neil Diamond, coming to America. Yeah, yeah, totally. Coming to America. That's a, that could be a porn movie, coming to America. It already is. It probably is. Probably already is. It is. It is most definitely uh, is. It, it is, huh? Yeah, yeah. With uh, yeah. starring Neil Neil Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So no, I didn't give a crap. I don't care about my bald head. I just that's not even an issue for me. I don't. I don't never. Hey, you know, this goes into like the, then the third question. The, the third question, like obviously, uh, is, is the seventh question. What you know, yeah. Like ego, ego identity expression. Yeah. If you paint something, and um, you know, like you get these poets, you get like you get writers sometimes. Maybe might be like, you know, they're like everybody needs to be free and they fuck whoever they want and it's some crazy shit in their lives, right? And then they turn out to be the most conservative, inane kind of inexpressive personalities themselves and you get to meet them. Well, that sounds like me. It sounds like me, right? That's that's you you're describing me, aren't you? <laughs> so, 
there a sound? I feel like that. I, I feel like I, I project a lot of uh, sort of anarchistic uh, concerns that uh, people go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in reality, I'm, I'm pretty basically a normal guy. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. You so you just you described like, me. You just described me. Yeah, yeah. You don't like hanging in line, in line for too long, especially if it's like a bad line. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't wait in lines. I hate lines. What is like the best painting you've ever done? Uh, I couldn't answer that. That's just not even a. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that was. I, the I, yeah, I just hate. I, I hate. I hate to even think what that would be. I, I have no idea. I, that was like the worst question. Like, like I'm just trying to think of like all the really bad questions. Yeah, that's like a bad. Hate. That's like what's your favorite color? Yeah, yeah. I fucking hate those questions too. What's uh, like, or your favorite like, art? Your favorite artist? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Like, what's your best film? What's uh, like? What's your favorite film? Fuck that. Yeah. Um. All right. Um. So you got like you got a canvas there? Yeah, I I do. I you do. ready to you ready to paint? Hey, you know what I was gonna do? I I, I was gonna bring out the okay. Yeah, we could do some painting here. Check this out. I I All got right. this painting here. I can't see. I can't see a thing. So like, oh, I can just, just wait see you. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold your horses. Okay. So I did this painting, and it was cheesy. It was cheesy, and it says it's it's uh. Well, you can't see it. Let me. Uh, no, no, I can't see it. You have to describe it, man. That's cool. All right. Well, it's like so it's rail, a looking up. Painting, it, it's a painting of looking up at the. Uh, you know, I'm gonna get rid of the blue screen. But dude, I'm never gonna see it anyway. Like. All things freeze the land. Oh well, too bad. All See, right, so I'll, I'll, I'll try refresh, but no, no, don't, don't, don't sweat it. Anyway, so um, I'm, I I'm got sweating, this. and I'm just like having fun talking. So. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, so, uh, but I'm gonna start this painting. So look at that. That's a cheesy ass painting. It's a, it's looking up at some palm trees, and then I did some sky writing, and I did a bunch of crazy stuff. But this one was to try to like. Uh, be all lovey-dovey, and it's, it says love. It's just so lame. I just hate it. Oh, so, fuck, man. That painting's sick. That painting's awesome. Yeah, but I'm sick of it, so I'm going to put a spaceship. Are you serious? Yeah. You're going to, like, gonna face that painting. Yeah, yeah. I, Shit, man. I will buy that painting No, you don't you. want that. Come on. No, love, man. I will buy that love, painting for you. Shut like, up. I will buy that painting for you up. not to deface that painting. No, that's lame. You don't want that. Are you serious? Are you going to actually going to, like... Yeah, I hate this. Man, are you I hate serious? The painting's like... It says love, you know, this like weird skywriting shit. There. Yeah, but come on. That's, it's nothing... There's nothing interesting about that. Now, I got ones that say, fuck you in the skywriting. Now, that, I like yeah, that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like yeah, those too. Yeah, that's like, you know, But, love, but like, love, that's corny. I'm not about no. to deface you. are about to deface love. Yeah. Okay, so like, this well, is it. Okay. no, don't look at it that John way. John Kilda is no. going to deface love skywritten. Love, Skyrim, love stinks. Palms. Love stinks. Like, Maybe I should just put love stinks. love stinks. No, don't do that. Don't do that, man. That's like uh, that song. Love stinks. Oh, can, like, can I just be this voice in the in the interim that just tells you not to do any of the things you're about to? Yeah, do? just second guess me. Go ahead. Yeah, just please don't say love stinks. No, okay, I won't. No, I'm not gonna do fucking spaceship. I have it in my mind to do that. So, don't stop me. The where, where, like, so where do, you, where do you paint a spaceship if you're looking at love through palms? Dude, you're, yeah. not, you're looking up above. You're looking up above, and you, and and right over on top of you is a gigantic spaceship on top of you. I reckon it hits. I reckon it hits like, 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 like right center of the eye. Like you don't even get to see it. It's just like it's like it just kind of strobes at you. I don't even think I don't even think you get to see an alien ship. Like, well, it's, it you might, just it get to you have a glitch. You have it a glitch. Could be that big, but I, I don't know. I want to be able to see some of it. So, so we you just paint a... love, like love. You really don't like that love, hey? No, I've had it. I had it. I was like, you know what? It's not that I'm against love. I love love. You know, I love, I love love. Tag, John, do you do, do, do graffiti? Do I do the graffiti? No, I don't do that. Do you have any spray cans? No, but I want to get some for the for 
the paint with. I want to get some. Maybe, maybe you should get some spray. Maybe you should just start graphing your work. Like maybe you should tag your own painting. Well, I kind of am. I kind of am. Yeah. It's like just start being a tag artist. It's like no, no, and, and then like, and then check this out. So then, like at the museum, then other taggers would start sneaking in with like spray paint cans and markers and like tagging my paintings too. That'd be that'd be that'd be really good. Of course, they would get arrested. Would they? Well, maybe. Would they really? Well, I wouldn't press charges, but but once I'm gone, would they? Would they? I guess I was good at what they world. did. They wouldn't get think if they if they're good at like graph artists like graph graph artists like if, if dudes are fucking graffitiing and shit like you would you wouldn't even know because they just did it and they got out. Oh, because they're so good and quick and fast. And that's what you're doing to your painting right now. Well, kind of. That, that's pretty. That's pretty like. That's pretty like. That's pretty mellow tones there. You go. Mellow. That's that's the mothership. Yeah, this is a gigantic mothership that's like over top of us, right now. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I haven't really figured out how to make it look like a ship yet. I'm just kind of. Giving it a cylinder shot right now. And Should then, have a claw, like like uh, a yeah, like exactly. um. Yeah. Well, I I, like, I did a drawing. Let me show you the drawing. Let me get you the drawing. Okay, cool, man. You got it down, man. You already knew that love was over, and it just became alien. You're just like whoa. Okay. It's gonna be gray on that side. Okay. Here, here's the. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. This is the. Uh, this is the idea that I, it is like it's got little legs and it's got a little uh, a ramp to uh, to enter. Well, um, so like, have you ever heard of this artist called Patricia Piccinini or some shit? I don't know. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter because uh, I don't know who you're talking about. So. Yeah, yeah, fuck that shit. Well, what is she? Uh, some Australian artist? Oh, uh, no, yeah, yeah, it's another shit. <laughs> But yeah, like, Dude, don't you don't realize you... that our, so, yeah, yeah. that we don't know realized. nothing no, about I just Australia? Realized, like, I'm just interrupting. I'm interrupting. I just realized I was like, hey, you know, like, have you ever heard of another artist? Like, while you're trying to paint, like, that's the most ridiculous thing anyone can ever do to anybody. No, no, like, it's, no, no, see, it's actually, not. No, no, okay, that's that's, that's a question I have for you, John. Another question. Yeah. When a painter is painting, yeah. and then someone talks to a painter as they're painting right. about another painter, yeah. is it okay? To about another painter somebody is painting and the uh, question blah blah you know what I mean yeah I guess it's You'd be like oh you know like that's like heaps like this painting or like yeah I guess so but the thing is about oh, other artists cool. is there's so many artists out there that almost undoubtedly I won't know I know right from the get-go I will not know who that artist is there's just so many artists out there I Unless it's Picasso or somebody like that. The legs you know? are good. The legs are real good, man. You like those legs, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I got to kind of initially... They're, just like, they're like, um, like cicada. Cicada legs. I can't even hear it. Like you talk and then like, oh, what? I'm trying to watch you paint. This is amazing to like this whole situation is just absurd. Okay, so that's the opening and then Yeah, that's the opening and then this is sort of the entry level to, to, to uh, let you come in to the spaceship. There. Make that yellow in the side in the inside there kind of like whoa. Is it, does it get? Is it gonna get like black towards the middle? The painting. Well, it's, it's gonna. I'm gonna make like. A, it's got some more work to do for sure. Don't uh, don't uh, hold. Uh, make any. Uh, you know. Don't uh, don't worry. We're gonna get some more goodies uh, on there. In a sec. I don't because I don't paint, man. Like I, you know, like. Uh, I thought you did like spray paint. I thought you like graffitied like the, the the. You know the subway trains and stuff, like uh, that's vandalism. Oh, that's vandalism. It's different. So you don't see graffiti art as anything more than just straight up vandalism. 
Oh, no. Oh, okay. So, uh -oh. uh oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, if, what, like, what? How do you see it? Uh, no, I, uh, I could see it as such, potentially. But, uh, but it isn't, ultimately. It's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, uh, well-established art form. What about tattoos? What, what do you think of tattoos? I don't have any tattoos. Well, I didn't ask you if you had tattoos. I'm just asking you. What yeah, well, that's my answer. You know, like. Uh, yeah, but you think like, it's an uh, art form? Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. It's an ask, uh, uh, but, uh, uh, but it's like, you know. What about cooking? Do you think cooking's an art form? Cooking's pretty, cooking's pretty good. Cooking's pretty awesome, yeah. Hey, guys, so. Uh, We've been talking to Tim from Australia, and it is uh, getting, it's right about 12 noon here, and our time is officially over, but we're going to go, good news, we're going to stay a little longer. We're going overtime? We're going to go overtime here. For real? For realsy. So, um, I'm going to, because I got started painting and stuff, and what the hell. And I got nothing else to do. No, no pressing anything. I don't have to go anywhere. I... So, uh, just, I guess we can hang out with y'all. So, uh, yeah, it's just kind of putting in my spaceship. And uh, hopefully it looks like a spaceship at some point. Uh, but this is the best thing ever. Like, you're replacing love with an alien ship. Well, uh, it, it could be uh, meaningful in the sense that, that alien, aliens could be uh, uh, represent love. Well, they do. Well, they could, they could. Well, they do. I believe I, I, I would have to say that uh, you know any of those uh, you know various uh, entities that have come to Earth, you know that uh, then somehow uh, manifest themselves in a human body and then uh, end up being uh, worshipped uh, for uh, for eternity. Uh, <laughs> They, they could easily be uh, from outer space, uh, and most likely they are, and uh, could be, of course, uh, aliens. But, you, you know, you're, you're going to be an alien at some point. Uh, yeah, or I, I may very well be an alien. How about that? I'm probably an alien, and I don't even know it. <laughs> it's like the, the best version of like saying, like somebody saying, like, I'm a poet, and I don't even know it. Right. I'm an alien. I'm an and alien I, and I don't even know it. I'm a poet and I don't even know it. I'm an alien, but I don't even know it. <laughs> hey, I'm going to put that on my Facebook uh, post, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to do that right now. I'm yeah, that. I'm glad. I'm glad I can help, John. Yeah. Well, it was my idea anyway, so. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> it was. It was. No, oh, fuck you, man. It was me, man. I put that shit up. Dude, you want to re-roll the fucking tape. And you know how I said that. <laughs> I love you, dude. I love you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> is that is that your kind of American? Uh, uh, how do how do you say that? Yeah, man. Hey, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> oh shit. That's that's totally like West Coast California talk, huh? Yeah, man. <laughs> What's so like, going on, man? So, you yeah. like you like painting some aliens? So, so nobody, no one talks like that out there in the. Uh, you know. uh, no, no way, hey, man. How cold is it in Australia? Uh, in in Sydney today? Uh, what's your weather? Oh, it's I, pretty fucking don't cold. Give no, don't give me no Celsius crap. I want I want Fahrenheit, baby. Oh, I don't know how to do Fahrenheit. How do I, uh, Look, I can't on. talk to you then. I don't, I don't mess around with that Celsius crap. That is the biggest bullshit. Fuck you, man. Celsius is That the... is some bullshit. You guys like, fuck that. Celsius is the business, man. Fuck your Celsius, man. Celsius is the business. All right, whatever. And you guys do, well, you, you, don't, you, do you don't do ounces either, no, right? I'm, I'm, I'm actually like... Dude, I'm like, I'm on the internet. I'm on the internet, looking it up, trying to get to a converse chart. <laughs> I don't even know what the temperature is in my room. 
Well, I, I think it's it's hot. It's hot. It's pretty fucking. It's hot here. It's actually totally hot. That is eh? that. That's a mothership. You're painting a fucking mothership. Dude, this man. is hot shit. Fucking beam me up and shit. Yeah, Fuck man. It's like I'm actually like you know like. Your audience might not realize it, but I'm actually gonna walk out of that door and like appear in your green screen room. Totally. Like when you finish this painting, and then I'll give you a big hug, and then like I'll get back into the spaceship, and then I'll disappear. I'm painting you right now, coming out the door. Tim, Tim is Tim. Tim is gonna appear out of, that, out of the spaceship. There you go. Tim will never actually appear out of the spaceship. It's actually a lie. Tim lives actually in a spaceship. Okay, all right. So. What's like, um, What's like? What's your what's your current Fahrenheit level over there? Oh, uh, easily a hundred degrees, uh, no doubt. Hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Totally. That's uh, I think it's like thirty uh, Celsius or something. Whoa, that's like really warm, man. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's fucking hot. Hundred degrees. Holy shit! That's like you're yeah, like you're yeah, like that's like full summer where you are. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're ballooning, baby. We're ballooning. That's fucking crazy. All right, hold on. Yeah, do the conversion. I don't, I mean, I, I know it's, it's up there. It's, I don't know if it's exactly 30 degrees Celsius would be the equivalent. I guess I could look it up myself, but I won't. I know, I got, I got it down. Yeah, we're, we're 56 degrees. 100, oh. 100, 100 Fahrenheit is 56 degrees Celsius? No. No, 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 we're not, we're 60, 56 degrees, fell, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you're 56, oh, gotcha, 56 Fahrenheit right now. Fahrenheit, yeah, yeah. Is that cold? Uh, it's a little chilly. You want to yeah. put on a, a little, uh, maybe a jacket with that, yeah. Yeah, well, that's what we're doing. And Sydney is, is usually a little colder than Melbourne, right? Oh, uh, Melbourne's fucked, man. You mean that's even colder? Yeah, all the time. Oh, okay, I got it wrong then. There's many of you colder as well. Wow, that, that you have probably is actually looking incredible. Well, I got, uh, while I'm painting who this... The, who comes out of the UFO? Like, well, like, That's you, Because it's actually like, whoa, I come out of the UFO? Yeah, you talked about this. You already forgot that you were, you, that's you, man. Oh, I know, I know. I, I just, like, I just assumed I was joking in terms of the subject matter. But, like, if I am going to be the subject matter, then you may as well, like, paint Dude, me. that is, that is totally you. Good. Well, you know. I, I, I just like the idea of being part of David Icke's sort of terminology of the reptilian human. They do, they do say that. Um, have you heard about this? What's that? They have like a, a parts of our parts of our brains. Yes. Uh, having 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 ascended, essentially. From the dinosaurs. Uh, no, I didn't. Nice. Feet. Um. Is that, uh, like, so the idea of, like, having the, uh, the true and, true and brain? Uh-huh. True and brain? Alright. Look, okay, like, I'm actually like reading shit from Wikipedia now. That's the internet. It's like anybody can read shit. Uh, but, have you, yeah, True and Brain? You ever heard of the True and Brain? Uh, no. Okay. 
I'm, I'm not even gonna read. Yeah, I'm not gonna read Wikipedia. I'm not gonna read Wikipedia. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, okay, I'm gonna try to summarize this whole thing. Basically, it concerns itself with the idea that part of our genetic makeup consists of a more reptilian. Yeah, like, oh, that looks good. make up the mean frequency for so that the full brain okay actually I will actually okay I'm gonna do this shit I'm gonna read Wikipedia alright get to the Wikipedia cool? yeah you're breaking up I can barely hear you so okay is it cool if I just read Wikipedia to you yeah go ahead and read it cause I'm busy painting I don't even feel like talking all right. Trion brain is a model of evolution of the vertebrae forebrain and behavior proposed by the American physician and neurologist Paul D. McLean. McLean originally formulated his model in the 1960s and, pro and pronounced at length in his 1990 book, The Trion Brain, uh, brain in Evolution. Trion brain consists of a reptilian complex, uh, the paleomammalian complex, uh, the limbic system, and the neomammalian complex, the neocontact cortex, due to structures sequentially added to the forebrain across evolution. Uh, however, this hypothesis is not espoused by many comparative human scientists. So basically, it's like somebody saying like that we've evolved from dinosaurs as opposed from animals. And yeah, yeah. You think? Got it, I got it. Yeah. Kinda like speed whack jack. Fucking really good job. Well, we're working on it, I guess. Uh, what can I say, you know? Well, but like, I mean, we're, we're, we're discussing the idea of like people, like you're painting, you're painting a UFO. Discussing the idea of like a, a try, train brain. Hey, uh, hold on for a second. I got another call. Stay right there. Okay, cool, man. Hello, caller, you're on Let's Pay TV. Hi. Hi. Awesome show today. Just giving you a call to say, uh, to say so. Okay, hey, thanks a lot. Who's this, anyway? This is Miles. Hey, Miles, thanks for calling, man. Hey, thanks for being a friend on Facebook, bro. All right. Cool. All right, cool. All right man. Bye. Okay, uh, back to Tim, if I can. Get, get him back on here somehow. Oh, did I lose Tim? Damn it. Here, I'll have to call him back then. Oh, shh. I'll just call him back. Yo, yo. Hey, uh, yeah, it, uh, it was I Miles. Got... He just he wanted to call and say that the show was, he had really had a good time with the show today. Oh, he's enjoying it. He was yeah. enjoying it, yeah. Good, I guess good conversation. Oh, sick. Yeah. Well, we, we, we covered a lot of ground when we, we discussed the difference between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Yeah, and how many beers you could drink without getting sick, or, or cups of coffee, too. And they talked about aliens, we did some painting. Talked about my bald head. Well, I, I think the future. Talked about of bald, Australia. It's not, it's not about your bald head. It's the future of bald heads in general. 
Is that right? Are you working on a bald head yourself? Is that what you're? Is that yeah, what I'm? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a bald head, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, well, uh, join the club. Yeah, fuck, man. Like it just freaks me out a little bit, you know. Oh, really? Well, you could always do. Uh, well, whatever, man. I, I, I honestly, I don't get. I never really cared too much, you know. I just kind of knew I'd have a bald head, and and that's it. Yeah, that's exactly where I'm at as well. You could, you could. Uh, I mean, there are people that are, you know, go ahead and they, I guess, um, go to the effort to, um, I guess, put hair plugs or. I just like, don't get that shit, man. Yeah, I don't get it either because that's like, first of all, that costs money, and then it looks like crap and then it's uh uh cost more money and it still looks like crap and then you know who are you fooling you know what i mean and i guess you're like fooling yourself maybe but, but, but you really. know it's it's one of those things you know people uh people have a need for that and i i suspect i think the only time i would have ever done that if if i was say in my 20s they so good. If I was in my twenties and I was like a TV star, in my twenties, yeah, 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 and I was slowly losing my ball. hair, slowly losing my hair, and my manager and agents, and you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, all the backers uh, behind me are like, you know, get your hair done, you know, then I probably would have done it. I think that's the only time I would have ever done it. When, when, when would you say that in your in your in your time you officially felt you were first losing your hair? Oh, uh, hey, in the twenties, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it was it was kind of happening then, easily. You're you're still in your twenties, right, Tim? Oh man, I'm in my forties. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, that, you you held up for a long time on that hair then. <laughs> No man, I'm in, I'm in my I'm in my www. There's gonna be a time where like, you know, you're painting that spaceship, right? But, like, I can um, I can download my soul. Like, I don't have to worry about hair loss. Well, uh. I, I just don't know what to say except for uh, don't I wouldn't sweat it too much. And... Yeah, but you know what? I was of... actually I was I was trolling for that comment, but I go to sing the message thing. You know what? A lot of people do is they just shave their head all the way off. That's another option. Just go bald, big, you know, full on. Yeah, man. I, I play. I thought of that. I never done it though. I've never done. It. I, I kind of want to do it maybe one day, but I just. You're not up to that. You're a good looking man. You just like gotta keep painting. Just keep painting, yeah. Keep trying at least. Here's another good bald looking painter. What's that? Oh, there's plenty of like gorgeous like yeah, you know, like yeah, you know, like dudes. Yeah, just, like, dude. that. Hey. Bald bald painters, man. Bald is in, dude. Yeah, fucking A. Celebrate your baldness. Jackson Pollock. Yeah, po Pollock, of course. He was a bit of a jerk. Yeah, I guess so, but whatever. I mean, we all kind of are in some ways, you know, I think. Okay, okay, oh yeah, that, okay, that, that's another question. Okay, like bring, bring it up the, bring up the painter's question. Okay, like, God, history is kind of like you break. You're 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 coming in and out. Uh, Are you moving or sorry, something? Sorry, sorry. It does does it does a man have to be a jerk to be a great painter? Uh, maybe so. I guess I don't know. I, I guess all the great oh. painters are jerks and assholes, right? So, yeah, well, that's they get. I mean, like that's what they say. I didn't. I've never heard that, but I think you got a point. Because most most painters that I I, I kind of know are kind of assholes. They're kind of a self-serving, uh, egotistical uh, assholes. Ego maniacal. Yeah. 
You know, there's something interesting about this whole thing about art and making art and uh, and, th and that kind of stuff. And there's there's a there's sort of a phoniness about it all. I think you know, uh, potentially. Uh, it's, a, it's kind I, of theatrical. Well, uh, yes, I guess there can be that. But there's the prima donna bullshit that's involved with with uh, most artists will not admit to it, but uh, I think there is that element. Um, uh, you know, sort of like... Uh, Are you a prima donna man? Well, I, I think at times I am. I think at times I am. But I, I kind of... I feel like I uh, emotionally or psychologically uh, step off that uh, high road to, uh, to, uh, to thinking that I'm, I'm important. You know, I get off it pretty quickly, uh, quite, a, quite a lot. I jump on and jump off. I'm I'm willing to think I'm a big failure. You know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah, that's cool. But I probably do have a big ego, I guess, and I probably am a big asshole. <laughs> you gonna you know me? <laughs> I don't know you, man. I, I just like you. All like, right. Yeah, I mean, I think well, like I think I know. You. I think I get like I get along with you very well. Yeah. And I, I actually like I'll go so far as to say like I love you, man. Like, yeah, well, I love I don't you actually too. know you. I love you too. <laughs> you are seriously weird. Thank you. I yeah, that that, yeah, yeah. I'm I glad you got that, man. That's the highest compliment. Can you please tell the world that the highest compliment you can pay anyone is to tell them they're weird? Yeah, but they're not. High school kids need to know that too. Yeah, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a tough one. You serious? I, I think a lot of people don't understand what you just said as that it being a, a positive kind of thing. They, they, really? They, yeah, they're more inclined to think that that's you're, you're you know not not uh, you know that's a negative. Well, I think it's the most positive thing that you could ever did or exist. Weirdo. Yeah. Pro weirdo. You, you, John, you, you, you're painting a portrait of an alien ship in your basement. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's that movie, you know, what was that called? Uh, uh, Fuck with uh, Richard Dreyfus, uh, and he bit, made a big old volcano in his uh, in his basement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, Enchanted uh, forest or altered mines? Uh, or... No, no, no. It was, a, it was a Spielberg film. Yeah, I know, but what classic, was it? classic, classic, close class. encounters of the, of the third kind. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that. Yeah, that, that. I mean, at least that moment, that that little moment was pretty awesome. That. Uh, anytime I see a movie and and they end up having a scene where someone's like getting obsessive uh, about making some weird contraption in their backyard or in their garage, I always think it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I think that. I it, think that's. It, 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 I agree. I agree. Yeah. I concur, and I also believe that um, more people should actually be just doing that generally. You know, I suppose so. Um, but I think there are different. I think there's a lot of people that that tap into the creativity, but then they mix it with you know business. Ah, oh, welcome to Sydney, man. Well, I live no, in, let's like, see, that's and I whole... just moved to fucking Sydney, and like, sorry, I, I don't know what it's like in America. No, it's 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 it's, it's, it's that it's exactly what I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, there's most people that find success in the arts have uh, can ultimately have very little creativity in them, but they have a shitload of this business-minded nonsense uh, that uh, kind of kind of waters water waters down water water down waters down water overboard uh, 
Yeah. Ship overboard. I don't know. Whatever. It. it I like. I like water overboard. I actually liked water overboard. Man. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it was uh, kind of strange. It's water like it's kind of like it's like it's super strange. It's like yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Does it? Yeah. 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 I kind of like. It's that. like it's like we're drowning. Throw the water. Water throw. overboard. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's actually true though. In a lot of ways, like I mean, it's not it's not as crazy as you think. Um, I could probably send you a video of like a former CEO of Nestle uh, talking about privatizing water, and he's uh, yeah. like genuinely saying to the world that water should not be a public right or resource. Yeah, I know. Hey, there's a lot of that weird stuff. Like you can't. Um there's, Throw there's, the water overboard, man. Yeah, there's there's uh, laws. Uh, there are municipalities in the United States actually are uh, having laws that you can't trap your own rainwater and use it or something. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, yeah. Your country's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know where that's happening, but I've seen like some fucked up YouTube video about it. I, I mean, but you know, maybe maybe it's uh, maybe it's not actually happening. I don't know. So like, is is America really okay? All right, so another question is like, cause yeah. it's, to, to my mind, like, you know, being an American, but never. I can't, I can't answer America. Uh, for America, Tim. I, no, no, I, but like your side of America, you live in Pond Valley, yeah. Uh, well, they do say that that's what this is. I guess they could, one could could make a joke about it, but yeah, okay. So what? Like what? What is what is that neighborhood? Uh, we're in San Fernando Valley. San Fernando, that's like the foreign capital of the United States. Well, that's what they say, but you know, frankly, uh, it, I don't think it's so much anymore because of the they, the city, the county of L.A. made a, a rule that a per, pornography has, to, they have to use rubbers in pornography. So, they have moved operations uh, to the next county over. So, I don't... For real? Yeah, so I don't even know if it's really technically the porn capital anymore. That's a re that's a revelation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because there was, you know, uh, you were talking about it. You were calling about occupational health and uh, safety administration <laughs> getting, you know, all yeah, full yeah, circle, yeah, yeah, full yeah. circle. Yeah. Yeah. So they they uh, like basically like oh and s is like dripping pulling out of San Fernando. They basically did. Holy I shit. think. I think. I mean, that's what the story is. Uh, oh uh, and s. OHS. Driving porn out of San Fernando. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And we're landing with aliens. That, that used to say love? Well, forget about that. I mean, who cares about the love? Who cares about love? I care about love, man. I care about love. Do you? Do you really? You're romantic? Oh, uh, sometimes. I'm not, a, I, I don't think I'm a materialist. Though. Are you a materialist, man? Yeah, I like to, you know, I got the latest iPhone and all that stuff. Oh, shit. But, um, what's your latest app? Uh, the latest app I got uh, keeps track of all my other apps. It's called App. <laughs> App attack. <laughs> Appalachian. Oh. App. Appalicious. <laughs> Appalicious. And it keeps track of all my other apps. It's called Appalicious. Um, uh, uh, how, many, how many apps do you have? Uh, I got 359. <laughs> um, you are... Uh... Do you have a call? Um, do, you, do you have do you have apps? See Bluetooth. Uh, no. See other apps. Do you have do you have multiple multiple apps on multiple phones? See Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah, I got it all, man. I got it all. You name Sick. it. You name it. I got it. All right, I'm gonna name it, man. I'm gonna name it then. I got it. Do you have? I got it. A fountain goat made out of virtual Bluetooth. Key, I got shaped it. in a size yeah, I got it. CD wallet inserted inside of a mini disc laser player. Got it. 
You don't have one of those, man. I just made that up. They don't exist. Yeah, I got it, man. Fucking I just what? made it up. I, you How'd made you it up. That? While you How'd made you it, while down? you made it up, I, I made the that? app. I created it while you made it. While you made up the app, I I actually created it. You programmed you, the app. I programmed it, and I got that shit right now. Can you show me how you get that to work? Well, in, in, uh, it's it's. In, 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 dude, I just need to see no, it in dance. Shit's form, in beta right now. See it in dance. Form. No, the shit's in beta. I need to see it in, in alien green screen dance. Form. Perhaps, maybe, if you. What's it? That's man. That painting looks fucking awesome. That's gonna take you a while to finish it. No, not really. <laughs> I don't spend too much time on these. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, your your show has gone so over time. It's like the best program you've ever had. This, this may be the very best program I've ever uh, done. <laughs> I seriously doubt that. <laughs> but, um, I think, I think, I think, fuck. I can't even hear you. I can't hear hey, you. Hey, even. I was going to ask you. So I saw you post something about uh, some kind of thing at the uh, MCA. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you doing yeah. something there? Yeah, I had some video works, man. Oh, I think sweet. Video. You know, about yeah, a year ago, I did a, a, a live feed. Yeah, the same, the same gig, man. Gotcha. The same gig. So what's that guy's name? Kim, right? Kim, I think? Um, I think that was my contact, Kim. Yeah, yeah, Kim's the same contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're Facebook friends. Oh, you guys are Facebook friends? I'm not Facebook friends. I feel left out. Oh, oh dude, fuck Facebook. Man. Oh, I've got to delete my Facebook now. You better frenzy up on that. It. Oh, really? Fuck, you guys are friends? Yeah, oh, we're what? friends, what? man. What? Facebook. <laughs> uh, I just realized, like, I just invite everybody I know to think, see, Facebook land and make it never attend. Facebook. I'm kind of worried. Like, part of me, like, I was, like, quite, um, actually, can I BRB? Uh, what? Bring your own beer? What? Yeah, I gotta go pee. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll be here for a little longer. I'm working on this guy, so. Yeah, give me a sec. All right. Hey, uh, while well, Tim leaves, uh, if you want to call the show, you can, 818-528-4516, or Skype us, Let's Paint TV. Just kind of putting the finishing, t I don't know if it's finishing touches, but I'm working on this. It's a uh, painting. Thinking about lower back. I did that stretch and now my back hurts. It's kind of strange. Oh. Yeah. Where an individual would be. 
Yeah, you're breaking up. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't get where an individual would appear from that painting. What's that? Well, where's like, like, where, where's the central? Where's the central? Like, like, do they descend? Do they just like appear in the in, from the doorway? Well, you just sort of ascend up into the spaceship is what they're doing. Sick. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. You still like that? You still want that love uh, there, or do you like this better now? Uh, I like this better. Yeah, me too. I still think love is pretty cool. Yeah, it's okay, but you know, I got tired of it. I thought it was corny at some point. You ever been in love? Uh, yeah, I guess so, sure. You ever been in love? Oh yeah. You've just, you just been horny. Oh yeah. What, what, what the hell are you saying? Have you ever been in love or you've just been horny? Oh yeah. That's what I say. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh man. You ever, uh, you ever played in bands? Uh, did, have I? Well, yeah. no, just just my own band, Let's Pay TV band. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good band. Pretty I Need a Job band. has been a song that's I, that's on that's on high rotation. Yeah, yeah, I Need a Job. Yeah, you like that one? That's a good one. Yeah. That one's that one's one of the best. Yeah, yeah, you like the video to it too? It's kind of good. Huh? Yeah, it's so good. Thank you. Kind of like kind of kind of makes it worse the whole situation. <laughs> yeah. Fucked up. I actually like I actually watched it the other day, like when I was like I had to go into the job office. And um oh, shit. <laughs> telling me that like I wasn't you know So you don't have enough. a job, you're saying? Oh no, I just got it. I just got a casual job. Okay, casual, so, what's that like uh what are you a gigolo or something? What do you mean, casual? Yeah, it's in some heaps casual. I'm just heaps casual with my jobs, man. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's like I just like I lay it out once in a while, I have a good shower. I'm gonna have a shower once in a while, John. Yeah, it helps. If you need a job, you have to have a shower. I suppose so, yeah. No, no, anyway. Oh, where, where the hell do you live? Like, I keep getting, like, this weird bass hum that comes through, like, the roo -roo. Dude, I'm next to a foghorn, man. It sounds like a foghorn right now. I don't what know what that? the fuck that is. I can hear it, man. What is that? I don't know, man. It sounds like a foghorn by the ocean. San Fernando. San Fernando fog. Yeah, we get a lot of fog. Not really. San Fernando Falcons. Alright, can you, um, I guess, no, actually, this is cool, man. This painting's really good. Do you have any advice for, like, kids that want to go to art school? Uh, Stay in school and uh, and and uh, and acquire more debt. <laughs> That's like the worst shit I've ever heard. <laughs> I was like, I was like, like, it's like tell them to avoid it altogether. And you're just yeah. like, just like go hard, go straight, man. Like, you know, it's all it's very a lot of a lot of people. It's real popular now to say, oh, don't go to art school. Uh, it's a waste of money, you're going to acquire all this debt, and then you won't have a job. 
I say, so what? Go for it. They're just saying yeah. that because, see, if you don't, you really won't have a chance. Well, I, you know, I guess you like get to take a lot of drugs and get laid for a while. Right. It's a good. It's a good run. And then worry about it when you get out of it, you know. I guess that's where you're at right now, right? A little bit. Oh man, I've been, yeah, I've been there for a while. Oh, you, you, you uh, okay? I thought you were like getting some like uh, masters in uh, sound or something. Oh no, I did like yeah, I did, that's kind of you know, sound design. I see. So, like, film and television. So you, um, you know how to, you know how sound is designed now. You can design sound. Maybe. Okay, so you have a lot of questions still. Yeah, I, that's, you know, the more you learn, the less you know. Yeah. Well, maybe in your case, maybe it wasn't good to go get that degree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so thanks, thanks, John. Yeah, I don't. I didn't mean to rub it in. Or... Yeah, yeah, no, I'm good that way. Hey, I know you can handle it. I, I think it's all good. I'm. I uh, I tend to uh, I need to fix this. I tend to be uh. You kind of need to fix it. What's going on there? It's like it's the obvious yellow you know, issue. Well, it's the it's the entry point, but it's not right. Yeah, well, it looks like it looks like a urinal. <laughs> I don't know. It's supposed to be the entry point, and it's not. Yeah, yeah. It ain't Should the entry point be a urinal? That is the question. When space arrives. We slide in on a urinal or a urinal cake. Okay, that's probably. Nah, I think it's pretty good. I think I think the majority of the ship is pretty good. I think you're doing. I think I think you're doing a fantastic job. Uh, I well, really enjoy. Considering it. I don't really know what a ship, you know, what it really would be looking like. I just sort of. Well, yeah, I think I think I think we, I think yeah I think I think you, you created something that. It's almost like it's almost like a grasshopper above the city of LA, it's just writing urinal cakes and telling you what you don't know already. You, you know, there's a few panels that need to be painted on the right there, as far as I can tell. Like all these panels, like you got, you, you get, you're just kind of trying to figure out this tractor beam. This tractor beam is like. Tractor beam needs some work, but right. I'm working. You know, like you can't. Yeah, maybe, man. Like, what if you just made the tractor beam a test pattern? Like, just made that a, like the most insane test pattern you've ever seen. Like, it's like take 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 the tractor beam and just make it, um, yeah, a test pattern. Test pattern? I yeah. Don't know. What do you mean, test pattern? Uh, you know, like, uh, you've never seen a test pattern? Uh, like on TV, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't, doesn't ring very. Not feeling it. Oh, uh, if you're not feeling it, you can't yeah, do it. Not feeling it. If you're not feeling it, you can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it if you're not feeling it. I'm just gonna send you. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna send. You. Uh, oh yeah. I don't know. How do I um? I tried to send you a picture. Oh, you sent me something? Okay. Let's see. Uh, of, of, of a test pattern. Oh, uh, okay. Let me see.
I don't believe I'm able to get to it. Yeah, I don't. I'm not able to access it for some reason. Uh, I'm tempted to get rid of the uh, the little entry thing. I don't know. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I got to sit down. Oh, my back hurts. Oh shit. Okay. Man, you should rest if your back's hurting. We already talked about this. Soon. I know. Overdoing it. I have a tendency yeah, yeah. to overdo it. Man, you can like you can, like you're already overdoing it. Like you're way over time. Like you, like your show should have ended like when? Like at twelve. You're right. I quit. All right. That's it. This is the end of the show. Fuck it. This is it. This is it. Fuck I it. gotta take a break. All right, brother. Yeah, you should go back to sleep, man. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, well, it's uh, good talking to you, Tim. All the way from Australia. Yeah, man, you too, man. It's been a pleasure and a privilege. Like, so, like, yeah, enlightening. Like, well, I'm still like, here. I don't know. I mean, what what else can you do? Um, just not be a dickhead. Yeah, I know. I try not to be, but I. I sometimes come off as you're one. Not, you're, you're not. You're not. You're not one of the words. Well, I, I, maybe to some people, I think maybe they think I am. I guess. Uh, they're idiots. Like they, you know, they're like reptiles or something. Yeah, something like that. All right, Tim, man, that's it. Okay, everybody, I'm done. We'll see. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday. Um. Can I bid on this painting later? You want you want to bid on it? What do you mean, like? Uh... Bid, like, are you gonna sell that painting? Oh yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah, I might. I'll probably put it up for sale. I mean, yeah. I probably couldn't afford it. Well, I'm probably gonna want like you know, ten grand or something. Oh, if, I, if I could, I would, but I, I think if I were to get, like, uh, you know, some, I don't know what I would get. It's not even finished, so... Yeah. Can I make a soundtrack for it? Yeah, 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 sure. All right, let's do that. Okay. I'll send you a soundtrack for that painting. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, uh, Tim, everybody from Australia. You, you, can sell it, you can sell it with a CD. Okay, per perfect. All right. Later, John. All right. Good day. <laughs> good evening. Good morning. Right. And good night. And good alien. <laughs> I like that. Okay, bye. Uh, okay, there he goes. And uh, that's, there I go. There I go. All right, so uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. I mean, on Monday. Bye-bye.